In previous videos, we've gone over equations that you had to use a distributive property to solve, or you had to use combined like terms to solve, or you needed to eliminate the variable on the right side of the equation, or you used adding and subtracting, or you used multiplying and dividing. What they're going to start doing is they're going to start giving you equations that may have all of these or just some of them. So some students need a checklist of things that they need to look for and in the order they need to look for them so that they can solve these equations. When they give you an equation, the very first thing you need to look for is parentheses. If the equation has parentheses, then you need to always use a distributive property first. If it doesn't have parentheses, then you don't have to worry about using the distributive property. Next thing you need to look for is combine like terms. By combining like terms, you're making the equation simpler to solve. You're putting things together, making a lot of terms just a few terms so that it's simpler. The next thing you probably need to look for is if there is a variable on the right side. You need to eliminate that variable. If there's not a variable on the right side, then don't worry about it. Then you don't have to worry about this. If there's no like terms to combine together, you don't need to worry about that. You just skip these. Then you go to adding and subtracting. Add and subtract to both sides, and then multiply and divide. This is almost like a checklist of things that you need to check and see. Always use the distributive property first if you need to. Combine like terms next if you need to. Get rid of the variable that's on the right side if you need to. Add or subtract, multiply and divide. This is a nice checklist when you start getting into more advanced equations. So let's look at an example. In this example, we need to go down our checklist and see which ones apply. Maybe one or two, maybe all of them. The very first thing I look for in an equation to see if it has parentheses. If the equation has parentheses, I need to use the distributive property first. So that's what we're going to do. Use the distributive property. We're going to take this 2 on the outside of the parentheses and we're going to multiply it to each term on the inside of the parentheses. 2 times 9x, 18x. 2 times negative 6, negative 12. Bring down my equal sign and the rest of the equation, I have used the distributive property. That's the first thing I should always look for. According to my checklist, the next thing I need to look for is combining like terms, making it so it doesn't have as many terms in this problem. So I look at this side of the equal sign. There's nothing I can combine over here on this side. So I write down 18x minus 12 is equal to, I look over here on this side and see if there's anything I can combine together. Well, there is. I can combine this 17 and this negative 14. The signs are different. I subtract, take the sign of the larger number. 17 minus 14 is 3. I've combined these two together. I bring this positive 17x down. So I use my distributive property first. I combine like terms. I need to see if there's a variable over here on the right side. And there is. This 17x. I need to eliminate that one. I'm going to do that by subtracting 17x. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. 18x minus 17x is an x. Bring down my negative 12 is equal to 3. I eliminated that 17x over there on that side. Now I need to add or subtract. Opposite of negative 12, positive 12. Add 12 to both sides. Bring down my x. That was eliminated. Bring down my equal sign. 3 plus 12 is 15. I didn't have to use any multiplying or dividing in this problem. So again, this is a nice checklist when you've got really long problems or what looks like complicated problems. Just go down your checklist. Use a distributive property first if you can. Combine like terms if you can. Get rid of the variable on the right side if you can. Add a subtract to both sides. Multiply and divide. 